Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about the Los Angeles Lakers and the Brooklyn Nets mishandling Kyrie Irving situation. This entire situation was mishandled from the Nets side and from the Lakers side. First off, if you're Rob Palenka, you got to get Kyrie Irving by any means necessary. I know through multiple videos I said the Brooklyn Nets should not mortgage their future for LeBron James by any means. But that was regarding like more so, you know, Buddy Hill and just weaker players. But we're talking about Kyrie Irving. If you're Rob Palenka, you got to get Kyrie Irving by any means necessary. And the Lakers dropped the ball on the situation. So Rob Palenka wasn't aggressive enough. And he gave weak offers to the Nets. The offers he put up was very weak. So the Lakers were unable to get Kyrie Irving, which enabled the Mavericks to swoop in and steal Kyrie Irving, basically. This was a big mistake by the Lakers, man. Rob Palenka wasn't willing to give up these picks. Once again, I said early on, you cannot mortgage the Lakers' future, but we're talking about Kyrie Irving. So when I said that, I was talking more so just for like, you know, complimentary pieces. You can't mortgage the future, not for complimentary pieces, but we're talking about Kyrie Irving to go with LeBron James and Anthony Davis. You get Kyrie Irving and you guys are automatically contenders. You're automatically contenders. But Rob Palenka somehow dropped the ball on this situation. He tried to finesse the Brooklyn Nets with weak offers and wasn't able to get Kyrie Irving. On the Nets side of things, if you're Sam Marks, you got to give this man the max contract. If you have hopes of winning the championship, your only hopes is Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant as a unit. KD can't do it by himself. Kyrie can't do it by himself. So why would you not pay this man or, or give this man what he deserved? He played great this entire season. Beyond the anti-Semitic issue, he's been on his best behavior and the man's been balling. And you refuse to give him a max contract? That doesn't even make any sense to me. So now Brooklyn Nets risk the chance or the possibility of KD leaving. Kevin Durant don't want to play with half these dudes on the team. They suck. Let's be honest. The man thinks half these players on the team is no good. So now Kyrie Irving is gone. This is going to be very interesting because more than likely Kevin Durant is going to want out. Because who's left on the Brooklyn Nets? I mean, yes, in the trade they got Spencer Dinwiddie. So he's back in Brooklyn once again. They got another player and they got some picks. That's great. But that is not Kyrie Irving. If you have aspiration of winning a championship, a title, you need a guy like Kyrie Irving to go with Kevin Durant. The Nets basically gave that up because, you know, we don't trust him or whatever. You can't, you got to gamble. You have to gamble. That's just how it works. It's a player's league and you have to gamble. As an organization, you say we're trying to win a championship. You got to give him the contract. Give him the max contract. Roll the dice. You got to gamble. But the Nets dropped the ball on this one. Let the man request a trade because they refused to give him a max contract for four years, which he deserved. They refused to give him that contract. So now Kyrie's in Dallas. And the Lakers, Rob Palenka just cheaped out. He tried to finesse the Nets, gave weak offers, and end up losing Kyrie Irving to the Mavericks. So both GMs, Rob Palenka, Sam Marks, both organizations dropped the ball on the situation. So now Kyrie is a Dallas Maverick. And imagine Kyrie with Luka. Now Luka has an official running mate. So when Luka goes to the bench to rest or whatever, he has someone that could, you know, carry the offense, you know, lead the team until he gets back in the game. And together as a tandem, they're going to be a problem. So the Mav is now a very scary team. A very scary team. Kyrie Irving's situation was mishandled, man. If you're Brooklyn, you cannot lose this man. Pay that man. If you're the Lakers, you can't miss this opportunity. You got to give up those picks, man. Whatever you got to do to get Kyrie, you got to get this man. So now LeBron James is losing his mind. He's pissed off because he feel like they failed him, which they did to a certain extent. But I don't feel sorry for LeBron. Come on, man. I mean... You made this team. It is what it is. You made your bed, lined it. So I don't feel sorry for him, but this was a missed opportunity by the Lakers. Rob Palenka screwed this one up. He dropped the ball on the situation. 
There's no way you don't get this trade done. You got to get this trade done. You got to give up the picks. Whatever you got to do. The Nets want younger players, so be it. Give up Austin Reeve picks, whatever you got to do. You know, you got to get Kyrie Irving. And the Lakers, for some reason, blew this entire situation. So both sides mishandled the situation. The Nets should have paid Kyrie the max contract. No argument. They blew that situation. The Lakers should have did whatever they had to do to get Kyrie. They blew that situation. But they say they want to win now. If you want to win now, you have to get Kyrie. That's your win now ticket. So the win now ticket showed up. The win now player, which LeBron wanted, I'm sure all the Laker Nation and fans wanted, and the organization blew that situation. So now Kyrie is in Dallas with Luka, and that team is going to be a problem. I don't know how you blow the situation, man. How do you screw this up? This was an easy, I mean, for the Lakers, how do you screw the situation up? Easy acquisition. Give Nets what they want. Make the move. Get Kyrie. And they didn't get him. Everybody thought Kyrie was going to be a Laker. We all did. But Kyrie is now a Maverick because Rob Palenka screwed up, was trying to cheap out, trying to finesse Brooklyn, gave a weak offer. Like, come on, man. You can't mess up on this deal. Anthony Davis is currently healthy. LeBron is healthy. And you put Kyrie with that pair. Now you finally have a closer because the Lakers can't close game. They've been struggling all season trying to close game. Lost multiple games because they don't have a closer. And you had a chance to get one of the best closer in the NBA. And you screw that up because you're trying to be cheap and you don't want to give up picks or whatever. Come on, man. That is insane. Anyone who knows the Lakers organization, they're about winning. They always acquire players through trades. That's how they acquire stars and players. And they had a chance to get this man to pair with LeBron and AD, which would have been another super team. So LeBron would have his fourth super team. And who's going to beat LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Kyrie Irving with a good supporting cast? I'm not going to say they're going to win it all, but that team would have been in the finals multiple years if you put that team together if one player get hurt Kyrie and the other could carry the load so if LeBron gets hurt knock on wood Kyrie and AD could carry the load if AD gets hurt Kyrie and LeBron could carry the load and they dropped the ball on this trade in this situation so yeah man both organizations screwed up so Mark Cuban and the Mavericks organization took a big gamble but it's a great one sometimes you got to go out on a limb They saw their opportunity to upgrade and chase the ring this season, so they took it. Sometimes you got to do that. Mark Cuban saw his opportunity, and they haven't won since Dirk, which is a long time ago, over a decade ago. The last time they got a chip was with Dirk, 2011-12. That's a long time ago. So the man saw his opportunity, his eyes got big, and he took it. Yes, Kyrie, you know, he's a free agent in the summer, but you got to gamble. Sometimes this is what you got to do. Perfect example. The Spurs sent Kawhi to Toronto. They came out with a ring. I'm not saying Kyrie Irving is Kawhi. The point I'm making is you got to gamble sometimes. And Mark Cuban took that gamble, rolled the dice, and we're going to see what happened with the Mavericks, Luka. Can they get it done? Can they even make it to the finals? It's a big possibility the Mavericks could make it to the finals with this acquisition. Kyrie with Luka. With Christian Woods and that strong cast they have, this team is ready, man. They're loaded. Their front court is crazy. So the Mavericks made a big upgrade. They're gonna make they're gonna be a problem in the West. The Lakers had a chance to get Kyrie. Rob Palenka is, you know, cheaped out, don't want to give up picks. Give up. Come on, man. You gotta give it up. You gotta do whatever you gotta do. You have to do whatever you have to do to get this man. Period. Once again. Early on throughout the season, I'm like, you can't give up those draft picks. That's the future. Don't mortgage the future. Yes, I was speaking about supplementary players, not a superstar. Kyrie is a superstar, one of the best finishers in the game. The Lakers are having problem closing games. LeBron can't close. AD can't close. AD closed one game just the other day, but beyond that, they can't close game. So you bring a dude like Kyrie Irving in here. That's what he do. He specialized in closing games. And the Lakers didn't do what's necessary to acquire this man. So now he's a maverick. 
That is crazy, man. That is crazy. And on the net side of things, you got to pay that man. If you want a max contract, give him the max contract. You're trying to win a, a ring, right? You're trying to win a championship. You got to do what it takes. And these dudes are so stupid, they don't want to give up the max contract. They don't want to give this man a max contract and make him leave, basically. So now they risk Kevin Durant leaving. Kevin Durant is not going to waste the twilight of his prime playing with these bum players. No, he's not. You think Katie's going to stay in Brooklyn and keep losing? No. I'll tell you what's going to happen. More than likely, Kevin Durant is going to play out this season. Whatever the case, the Brooklyn Nets are going to get bounced in the first or second round. And then KD is going to start more drama in the summer, requesting a trade and, or making noise. There's going to be an uproar coming. In the summer, there's going to be an uproar. Because I know KD is not trying to play with these dudes. I'm sorry. The man's trying to win, and this team is not a contender. Without Kyrie Irving, the Brooklyn Nets are not contenders. Period. So Sean Marks dropped the ball on this situation. Rob Palenka dropped the ball on this situation. Both organizations mishandled the Kyrie situation. Brooklyn should have gave Kyrie the max deal. The Lakers should have did whatever they have to do to acquire this man. And both of them screwed up. And I'm telling you, man, they're going to be sorry. The Nets are going to be sorry because they risk KD leaving. Eventually, KD's going to get tired and pissed off and he's going to leave. Take my word on this. KD's going to get pissed off. KD's going to get annoyed, pissed off, and he's going to leave. LeBron is already pissed off, so we'll see what happened in the offseason because he is pissed. He wanted Kyrie. You know he wanted Kyrie because LeBron knows if we add Kyrie to this team, we are automatic contenders. LeBron knows this. Anyone with a, a basketball brain knows this. But the Lakers were unable to get it done. Rob Palenka was unable to get it done trying to cheap out and you know trying to finesse Brooklyn instead of doing what they need to do to get this man. You got to do whatever you need to do. So yeah, man, Kyrie is a Dallas Mavericks now. It's Kyrie and Luka with Christian Woods, Tim Hardaway Jr. They got a really good front court, man. This team is going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem. And the Lakers, unfortunately, is still struggling. The Lakers are going to end up in the play-in more than likely. I don't know, man. They still have a chance to make it to the sixth seed or whatever. But the way they've been playing... They won one game beyond that. I don't know, man. The Lakers are going to end up in the plane, probably, possibly. They risk the chance of missing the playoff again. And you know, Laker Nation and the fans are going to lose their mind because they're going to blame Rob Palenka for not getting Kyrie Irving. Once this all blows up, once this situation blows up in the Lakers' face, Rob Palenka is on the hot seat. Laker Nation is going to be pissed off. How do you not get this deal done? It was an easy deal, easy done. And Kyrie wanted to be a Laker, so this was an easy deal. But Rob Palenka, screw this one up, man. This, was the, this is one of the worst screw-ups. This is one of the worst screw-ups. Like, come on, you got to get Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving equals contender, possibly championships. Rob Palenka came with a weak offer, and Brooklyn was like, nope, we're not doing that. Dallas gave him a better offer. Threw the form at him, and the rest is history, man. It's unfortunate. LeBron is over there losing his mind. This shit crazy, man. So the Lakers let another opportunity slip through their fingers. You can't let an opportunity like this go, man. You cannot miss out on an opportunity to get Kyrie Irving to pair with LeBron and Anthony Davis. You can't miss out on this opportunity. Somehow, Rob Palenka blew it. Rob Palenka blew this one. Like, this is one of the worst. Like, how do you blow this situation? Do what's necessary to acquire Kyrie Irving to pair with LeBron and AD. Give up what you need to give up. You got to give up those picks? Gamble. Give it up. If you're saying you're trying to win a championship in the next two or three years or whatever, you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to gamble. Dallas was willing to gamble. Rob Palenka was playing, you know, softball, trying to be cheap, trying to finesse and end up losing the entire situation. Everybody know for months now, Kyrie Irving had his mindset, his eyes set on being a Laker. So this was already in the works. 
Kyrie Ben wanted to be a Laker. He, so his mind was already set on this. All they had to do was get it done. And Rob Palinka, for some reason, was incapable of getting it done. The man screwed this one up. How do you screw this up? That is crazy. So the Lakers front office, the Lakers organization definitely screwed this up. I mean, they have two of the most valuable first round picks in the NBA. So getting Kyrie Irving wasn't a problem. They had the necessary piece and tools to get Kyrie Irving. But Rob Palenka blew this one, man. Like, I don't know how you messed this up. He blew this one. And the Nets, Sam Marks, he blew this one. Pay that man the max, man. Give him the contract he wanted. Pay that man and try to get this championship. You lock Kyrie Irving in, more than likely Kevin Durant is going to be there for a few years. You're going to be in contention always, at least until something happened or whatever. So the Nets could have been in contention for another two, three years. They blew that situation. The Lakers could have acquired Kyrie Irving because he'd been wanted to go since the summer. This was already in the works, brewing basically, and Rob Palenka dropped the ball because he's trying to be cheap and came with a weak offer. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now Kyrie Irving is on the other side of town, basically. And LeBron James is losing his goddamn mind. I don't feel sorry for him. No, I don't feel sorry for him, but it do sucks, though. So he's losing his mind, and he's like, man, the Lakers have failed me once again. Once again, I don't feel sorry for him because he have done a lot. They have done a lot for him, you know, he, and he has done a lot to screw up the team, like bringing Russell Westbrook in, etc. So I don't feel sorry for LeBron. I just feel bad for Laker Nation, man, and they dropped the ball on this situation, man. Kyrie should have been a Laker right now. I mean, ultimately, Kyrie Irving must have not been that worth it for them because, I mean, they only offered one pick. You know, so Rob Palenka only offered one pick, not both. He offered one pick. So apparently Kyrie Irving wasn't worth it or wasn't a priority, whatever the case may be. But this is an organization who's all about winning, and they want to win. If Magic Johnson was the president or whatever, this deal would have been done. Kyrie Irving would have been a Laker, point blank period. If Magic Johnson was the one, you know, overseeing the situation, this would have been automatic. Kyrie Irving would have been a Laker. I could tell you that much. So Rob Palenka dropped the ball on this one. He only offered one pick. Come on, man. You got to do what you got to do. Give up the picks and get Kyrie Irving and go try to win a ring. But apparently the Lakers don't want to win. They're an organization who's trying to win, but apparently they don't want to win because they didn't get Kyrie Irving, which they should have got him, but they didn't. So they let this man slip through their fingers, basically. It's going, it's going to get crazy because now the Lakers is playing bound. More than likely, they're headed for the plane. Either way, LeBron have enough that they should make the playoff. Kyrie Irving is more like you have a chance of winning the championship. Without Kyrie Irving, the team is good enough that they should make the playoff, not the play-in. So if they miss the playoff or they make the play-in, guess what? They underachieve once again. Another season underachieving. And I'm not going to blame that on the missed opportunity. No. You got to do what you got to do. But it's sad, man, because they should have got this done. They should have got this done. This is one of the worst screw-up I've seen in a minute, man. On bo by both organizations, by the Nets and by the Lakers. So the Lakers lost their primary target in Kyrie Irving. But all ain't lost. They could still probably snag somebody. It might not be Kyrie Irving's caliber, but, I mean, they could bring somebody in, a decent player to put in, you know. They could bring a decent player in, I guess, to try to make some moves in the playoff or whatever, but they missed that opportunity, man. Kyrie Irving was the prize, man, and they missed that opportunity. In order for the Lakers to make significant moves, Rob Palenka may have to pay a price he's unwilling to pay. Sometimes that's what it comes down to. You're going to pay a price that you're unwilling to pay. Because right now, the Lakers have to maximize LeBron and Anthony Davis' talent. The clock is ticking. He's not getting any younger. He could put up all his empty numbers. Oh, he dropped 40, whatever. He's about to break Kareem records. So at least they got that coming up in a game or two, whatever the case may be. But they got to maximize LeBron and Anthony Davis' talent, man. 
So we'll see what happens on this roller coaster ride. One of the biggest missed opportunities by both organizations, by the Nets and the Lakers. This is one of the biggest missed opportunity. The Nets should have locked Kyrie Irving and give him the give him the four year max. The Lakers should have did whatever they got to do to get him, and both of them failed. Man, the mishandling the mishandling of Kyrie Irving by both organizations. As always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.